Hello everybody, this is AK, I'm back. So today we're going to talk about inflation and interest rates again. <laughs> uh, these topics are in the news a lot these days and I think anyone who's an investor should be interested in uh, the news. Uh, in recent videos, I said that uh, inflation is not has not been coming down as quickly and um, therefore interest rates are likely to stay higher for longer and that expectations uh, of um, interest rate uh, cuts happening this year have been tempered right from four to three then down, down to two and now there are some people who are even saying there might not be any interest rate cuts this year we might only see that happening next year because uh, if interest if inflation doesn't come down to two percent the fed is not going to cut interest rates right so and um blame the u.s consumers <laughs> because in the in the news it says that um american consumers boosted spending at a hotter than expected pace in march right and that tells us how the shoppers remain resilient despite inflationary pressure and other challenges. Of course, we know that uh, America is uh, an economy that is driven by consumption, conspicuous consumption in some cases. And um, for, uh, for the longest time, it's a debt-driven economy, right? All right? It's unthinkable for Americans not to have some credit card debt. <laughs> right? You buy things on credit, and 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 um for for them ha having more bling bling is more important than having more savings in in many cases right so the americans spent more money in march and retail sales rose 0.7 percent almost double of what economists uh, e economists uh have forecast right and this is on the back of a 0.9 percent increase in february so these consumption figures have been revising has have been revised upwards and of course in january uh we saw a one percent decline right and uh they say that was because of bad weather <laughs> <laughs> the Americans wanted to spend money, but because of, there was bad weather, they didn't go out and shop. So uh, they didn't go out. You want inflation to come out in the US? Please have more bad weather in the US and the consumers will not go out, go out and buy stuff. <laughs> right? So um, they say retail sales aren't increasing just because prices are going up. Americans are actually buying more stuff. And this is one of the strongest retail sales report we have seen in the past couple of years, right? The sales in general merchandise stores rose 1.1%. Online sales was up 2.7%. So good news for people who are investing in Amazon, I suppose. <laughs> uh, while departmental store sales had a 1.1% decline. So um, online sales has been uh, impacting department store sales negatively. Right, and uh, there's a strong jobs market in the US and wages have been rising. So this has also helped with household spending, right? And um, American, em American employers delivered another strong report in March. They added 300,000 workers to their payrolls. And this has fueled hopes that the economy can plow through higher prices without a recession despite the higher interest rates All right so there's a lot of optimism and um inflation has remained stubborn therefore All right so it's listed have been lifted last month by higher prices for gasoline rents auto insurance and other items that as well as a strong retail sales report will likely delay a cut by the federal reserve to interest rates that many had anticipated at the next meeting of the US Fed Reserve monetary policy making arm in a couple of weeks. So yes, many, many had anticipated interest rate cut in the next meeting, but that's now unlikely to happen. So if we have been investing 
with the expectation that interest rate cuts will give our investment a boost in their stock prices. Like some people who are plowing back into REITs are thinking, well, um, be cautious because we are buying based on speculation. We are speculating that interest rates will get cut, right? We don't know whether they'll get cut or not. It's just speculation. I'd rather have a bird in hand than to have two in the bushes, which is why I'd rather be invested um, in entities like the banks, where I know that for sure they will have good income and that they will be able to pay investors more in terms of dividends, uh, whereas um, entities which are highly geared, if interest rates stay stubbornly high, because inflation stays stubbornly high, their performance will be negatively impacted, right? So um, if our investors keep an eye on inflation and interest rates, because it should interest us, right? Pun unintended. So if AK can talk to himself, so can you. Bye-bye.